everyone, welcome back to our top 10 series where we make super cool, awesome lists for you guys. My name is Court McGinley and I'm here today to tell you guys all about the top 10 scientific breakthroughs that could change the world. Yeah, we have an uplifting one here for you guys today. Before we start our list, I want to know what is the most impressive thing you've ever seen? Let me know down below. Starting you guys off in our number 10 spot, we have synthetic food. So even after all of the clips that have been taken off the internet of animals being butchered, it turns out that humans are eating more meat than ever before. Apparently it's gotten so bad that farmers aren't even able to keep up with the demand. So scientists have actually been developing synthetic meat from stem cells. But the production costs for this are astronomical and actually exceed more than 300,000 per burger. What? However, if this operation could be scaled up in order to mass produce, then it could be economically feasible. So weird fake meat or becoming a vegetarian? And eat fake meat anyways. So many possibilities. Moving on to our number nine spot, we have alternative fuel microbes. The US Department of Energy collaborated with a team of researchers at Duke University to create electric fuels that are designed to harness solar energy without cutting into the food, water, or land supplies, which most existing alternative fuels do. These itty bitty microbes can effectively and efficiently synthesize these electric fuels in a lab. Using the electrons in the soil as food, the microbes take in the energy to produce butanol when exposed to electricity and carbon dioxide. To complete this photosynthesis, scientists have extracted the gene allowing them to produce butanol in large amounts. This is currently being seen as a better alternative than ethanol and gasoline. Coming out of our number 8 spot, we have Cybernetic Immortality. So this one is taken from the sci-fi handbook, but it's super awesome. Imagine if you were able to upload a person's consciousness and have them exist as a hologram after they're dead. Now this does sound crazy, but scientists are currently working towards making this a reality. Although their body wouldn't physically be there, memories and personality would continue to live inside of a computer. So basically nothing would change because we're all on the computer 24-7 as it is. I want to know, how do you guys feel about this? I don't know if I would like it. I feel like this would be really painful. If this is the case, it seems like you would never really be able to fully experience closure from a loved one passing away. In our number seven spot, we have 3D printing. So this one, it's one of the most impressive and amazing technological advances that exists today. So basically this is a process where you're able to create three dimensional solid objects from a digital file through an additive process. So what happens is you lay down many, many layers of material until the entire object is created. Currently 3D printers are able to print prosthetics, food, miniature buildings, and medical implants to name a few. Moving into our number six spot, we have exoskeleton suits. These suits have been created and allow the body to perform better than it can on its own. This suit actually allows people who wear it to lift large amounts of weight more easily, which is really beneficial for military personnel as well as search and rescue workers. So not only is this a huge help in the working field, but it also allows people with physical disabilities the ability to stand and move on their own. Coming in our number five spot, we have the blind being able to see. A team of Australian designers have created the first bionic eye prototype. Basically, the person in question would have to have a chip implanted into their skull and then that would be connected to a digital camera and a pair of glasses. So basically how this works, the signal is changed and sent wirelessly to the microchip. Then the signal activates spots on the microchip implanted into the visual cortex of the brain. So at this point in time, users can only make out outlines of people and shapes, and there is a lot of improvements that will be happening in the near future. In our number four spot, we have cardiac MRIs. A new and amazing technology was unveiled June 10, 2013. After extensive testing, the T1 MRI has gotten a lot more accurate, as well as efficient, and it's safer than existing techniques that have been used to detect heart disease in children. This is actually allowing doctors to notice children's heart defects earlier and more efficiently than by using an ultrasound system. This is such an amazing medical advancement in being able to detect early childhood heart disease. Moving on to our number three spot, we have immunity to cancer. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the only reason this is in the number three spot and not the number one spot is because it's still gonna take quite some time for this to become a reality. A university in Rochester published a study stating that mole rats are immune to cancer. And based off of this, they're trying to figure out how to make this a possibility in humans. A gooey sugar substance known as HA has been found in the spaces between naked mole rat cells, which seems to stop them from forming tumors. Scientists have in fact tested this theory by infecting skin cells containing both high and low amounts of HA with cancer. During this test, it was found that cells with low levels of HA, the cancer multiplied more rapidly, and cells with high HA tumors actually failed to even form. Once scientists succeeded in making rats immune to cancer, they will move on to making this a possibility for humans. In our number two spot, we have bioengineered body parts. Recently, a group of doctors at Duke University have successfully implanted the first bioengineered blood vessel into a live patient. Bioengineering has already been advancing at such a fast pace, but this advancement is huge because it's the first successful implant of any synthetically bioengineered body part. This was implanted into a patient who was suffering from the end stages of kidney disease. Since this procedure was a success, it has had huge implications for further uses of this in the medical world. Doctors are saying that they soon will be able to create veins for heart disease and might even be able to go as far as bioengineering whole organs and body parts. All right guys, so let's recap. So far on this list we've talked about MRI advancements, bioengineered body parts, fake food, microbes, exoskeletons, repairing cells, 
website, eliminating cancer, 3D printing, and immortality. So if you guys thought this list was impressive so far, just you wait, because coming in at our number one spot, we have telekinesis, aka being able to move things with your mind. Up until recently, we've only seen this amazing power that is telekinesis in science fiction movies. This is now becoming more of a reality thanks to researchers from the Minnesota College of Science and Engineering. These amazing researchers have come up with a non-invasive technique that they're calling, insert word here because I'm not going to be able to say it. What this does is it harnesses brain waves. They used five students to test this using a brain computer interface that allowed the students to control a helicopter robot using only their thoughts. So how this works, when the controller imagines a movement without having to actually move specific neutrons in the brain, motor cortex produce electric currents. Then these currents go through an EEG cap sending the signals to a computer. And then the computer translates the signal pattern into a compound and beams it to the robot through Wi-Fi. The researchers on this project are hoping to expand this to eventually restore motion, sight, and hearing. And there you guys have it, our top 10 list of scientific breakthroughs that could change the world. Let me know down in the comments which one you found the most interesting. And also let me know down in the comments which top 10 list you would like to see me do next. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next top 10 video. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, tell friends and family. We have more videos right over here and you guys can follow me on Instagram at Court McGinley.